Hello everyone. Today we have Elka Selog Asthana and she's from Bharti Infratel to help us with some insights on the industry and also share her experience on Communique 19. Hello ma'am. Hi. So as the current motion is go green or go home, what are the views on Indian telecom and needing a green regulation? <laughs> Each one of us uh, needs green revolution, and that's that's not something under doubt. Uh, and telecom is an integral part of our lives now. Uh, so yes, telecom also needs green. It's only a matter of where we enforce it and how quickly we want to kind of turn green. It will not happen all of a sudden uh, in India, also because, mainly because the uh, EB availability is a question mark. And when you are operating in you know, remote sites like we do, uh, you are not very sure of how long the EB would be there. Once the electricity supply is not there, uh, but you still need your telecom uh, availability 24 cross 7 cross 365, you have to depend upon sources which are not so green. Uh, and for that matter, even EB is not green completely, right? It, it doesn't come from green sources alone. Uh, but to kind of overcome a little bit of that, uh, we are focusing more and more on solar deployments, on wind deployments uh, for towers. The challenge here always is that it's a very distributed architecture. Solar or wind does not prove to be very economical in such small capacities. So those are the challenges. Okay, ma'am. So, India is on the path of becoming completely digital driven. So, what are your views on the future of digitization in India? Um, future is always bright. So, uh, you know, digitization would kind of make things much simpler. That's the objective. Uh, but it is also very essential to focus on what we are doing in India about it. Uh, it is easy to kind of adopt the technologies which are available globally and then, you know, kind of uh, Indianize them. Uh, but that doesn't really upscale or upskill your own, uh, you know, workforce, your own productivity. Uh, it has to be something which is completely homegrown uh, for it to be relevant to India. Uh, digitalization is a very generic term. We need to get into far more details than simply paying lip service to the term itself. Uh, we'll have to figure out, you know, how we um, fit the whole concept to Indian uh, scenarios. And that is where institutes like yourselves and students like yourselves can make a huge lot of difference when you uh, figure out what is relevant, what is economical, very important because, uh, you know, each of these efforts takes a whole lot of money, a uh, whole lot of, uh, you know, effort, uh, even on the R&D stage. If you are ready to do that, we can do wonders. We can even do wonders adopting things, but then that will not have, uh, you know, the same amount of uh, uh, success um, as, as a completely homegrown initiative. Also, ma'am, please share your experience of attending Communique 19. Um, I'm yet to experience it. So the, uh, the arrival has been very seamless. Uh, and it's, it's a lovely campus. Uh, and I'm looking forward to my deliberations later on. Thank you, ma'am. It was great talking to you.